Hi, hello and welcome to another episode of Stories and Poems from Story Island. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller. So, in today's episode, we're going to listen to the famous Aesop's fable and a fantastic tongue twister which you will be repeating later as swiftly as possible. Let's listen to our story. The Wolf and the Kid There was once a little kid whose growing horns made him think he was a grown-up billy goat and he could take care of himself without anybody's help. So, one evening, when the flock started home from the pasture and his mother called, the kid paid no heed and kept right on, nimbling the tender grass. The little later, when he lifted his head, the flock was gone. He was all alone. The sun was sinking. Long shadows came creeping over the ground. A chilly little wind came creeping with them making scary noises in the grass. The kid shivered as he thought of the terrible wolf. Then he started running wildly over the field, bleating for his mother. But not halfway, near a clump of trees, there was the wolf. The kid knew there was little hope for him. Please, Mr. Wolf, he said trembling, I know you're going to eat me up. But first, please bite me a tune, for I want to dance and be merry as long as I can. The wolf liked the idea of a little music before eating. So, he struck up a merry tune and the kid leaped and frisked gaily. Meanwhile, the flock was moving slowly homeward. In the still evening air, the wolf's piping carried far. The shepherd dogs pricked up their ears. They recognized the song the wolf sings before a feast. And in a moment, they were racing back to the pasture. The wolf's song ended suddenly. And as he ran with the dogs at his heels, he called himself a fool for turning piper to please a kid when he should have stuck to his butcher's trade. Oh, poor wolf, he lost his meal. So, before we listen to our tongue twister, I'll say some of the difficult words in the story and its meaning. Billy, it's a big male goat. Kid, it's a baby goat. Flock, it means a group of uh, goat. Pasture, it's the grazing land with lush green grass. Heed, pay attention. Nimbling, small, small bites. Bleating, a baa. The ba sound of a sheep. Clump, a small group of trees. Shepherd dogs, a variety of dog which is used to protect sheep. Example, German shepherd. Merry, happy, gaily, happily. So, these are some of the words that I thought would be difficult for little listeners. Now, here comes our much-awaited tongue twister. Okay. Here it is. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Here again. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. My God, I'm missing. Try it out and send me your recordings of how swiftly you said the tongue twister. Until next episode, signing off from you. Storyteller Abhi Kumar